Greetings everyone and welcome to the first video of 2025 from Talkulan. As we step into 2025, Talkulan invites you to explore a world of possibility in telecom and cloud learning. And let us build the future together. 2024 was a great year for Talkulan and 2025 is going to be another awesome year for Talkulan. In this video, we are going to talk about 5G network entry procedure for the UE. When we look at it, there are two integral part of this procedure. One is G node B, which is the network part, and the user equipment, which is trying to access the resources from the radio network, which is here called as G node B or the base station. The G node B is periodically transmitting something called as SS burst. This SS burst includes three things, which includes PSS, SSS, and PBCH. So the very first thing which user does is to decode the PSS sequences which will help the user to estimate okay PSS and SSS together will help the user to estimate and correct the frequency and time offset. The PSS comes with three values 0, 1 and 2. After decoding the PSS user is going to decode the SSS the SSS have values ranging from 0 to 335 and put together PSS and SSS have 0 to 1007 that means 1008 unique values which are typically considered as physical cell ID or PCID. These PCIDs are allocated to individual cell just to maintain the interference between these different cells. After completing PSS and SSS decoding, the user moves on to decode the PBCH. The PBCH is physical broadcast channel, which is typically contains the information called as MIB or master information block, which is the required information to connect to the cell to know about the cell. And it in includes the information like SSB index, RSRP values and the SFN, the system frame number, along with some other values which we are not discussing here. After completing the MIB decoding, after reading the MIB part of it, the user will move on and look for the PDSCH to decode the SIB1. There are multiple values of SIBs. In this case, we are just decoding the SIB1 and MIB and SIB together, MIB and SIB1 together are called as minimum system information which will allow the user to do the random access procedure. The random access procedure which is typically highlighted here. The network will keep on informing the user about the RATCH resources which are available and there are multiple different ways of doing the random access which are called as uh, contention based random access, contention free random access and we will be discussing some of these things in the future videos. The very first message which is sent from the user is the RATCH preamble. This RATCH preamble is sent, is randomly selected by the user and sent to the network with the RATCH request. The G node B responds with a message to which is typically a random access response message and this message is sent to the UE. And now the UE transmits the message 3 which is RRC connection request message with a unique ID and this unique ID is going to help the G node B to provide you the response with the RAR connection setup procedure and once that is established the message 5 is sent from the user which is a RX RRC connection setup complete message. So typically this random access procedure is called as a 4 step procedure which is up to the message for this is just the acknowledgement of that message. However, there can be scenarios where you are doing procedures like handover and we do a random access procedure, which is more of a contention free random access. In addition to that, there are some other random access procedure, which are defined called as two step RATCH. So this was a quick introduction video about the 5G network entry procedure for the user. In the upcoming videos, we are going to talk about lot of procedure related to initial registration, related to PDU session procedure, 
the 5G and R protocol layers and things related to that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would like you to uh, share your feedback about this video or anything else you would like to uh, learn this year and would, we would be more than happy to share that information with all of you. Thank you very much and I will see you in the upcoming videos. Have a great day.